As the COVID-19 pandemic began to take hold in the United States in late March, the Allen Institute for AI released an enormous data set of scholarly articles related to COVID-19 and other coronavirus strands. Technologists around the world now have a mission to build an analytics platform and in just tens of thousands and eventually millions of scientific papers and other data. The data will eventually come from many sources and have different schemas and formats. The solution to this problem requires something powerful, flexible, and scalable. NIFI is an easy to use, powerful, and reliable platform to process and distribute data to many databases and analytic systems, including MicroFocus IDLE. MicroFocus NIFI ingest adds to the many processors already available with NIFI, surfacing the data retrieval and enrichment capabilities of IDLE. This includes connectors that can access hundreds of repositories, file formats processing using IDLE key view, IDLE eduction for entity extraction or redaction, classification using IDLE's categorization or NIST RDS hash filters, rich media processing for OCR, object recognition, speech to text, face detection, PII image classification, and more. Secure document handling like Microsoft RMS encryption and decryption and other data normalization and enrichment functions. Now that we know more about Apache NIFI, let us explore the Cord19 data set. The Allen Institute for AI partnering with leading research groups have prepared an open research data set, CORD19, about COVID-19. As of early April 2020, it contains over 44,000 scholarly articles, including over 29,000 with full text targeted for use by the global research community. Here at MicroFocus, we've downloaded this data and processed it all with IDLE, our unified text, speech, image, and video analytics platform. Let's briefly explore the CORD19 dataset files. The published data is a combination of CSV file and JSON attachments. The CSV file is opened in Excel with a column width adjusted for readability. The first row contains the CSV column headers. The remaining rows are the scholarly article records. The JSON file contains more metadata and text for the article. Now let's look at how IDLE ingests for Apache NIFI process the CORD19 data set. Here's the data flow. The first steps in the data flow are to access and discover the source files, determine what file type it is, and then process the file based on its type. The IDLE file system connector processor is configured to ingest the CSV file. The key view route on file type processor automatically detects the file type based on its contents and routes for further processing. The next convert CSV to documents processor splits the CSV rows into individual documents or flow files in NIFI speak. The KeyView filter document processor handles over 1,400 and a growing list of other file types supported by idle KeyView. The next three steps in the flow are to enrich the CSV file data. In CORD19, an optionally available JSON document is part of the data set and should be integrated with the CSV record, enabling deeper analytics. The include JSON attachment processor step joins the CSV record with the attachment, preserving the JSON file's original structure. Some of the metadata fields in both the CSV and JSON will benefit from normalization of the values. In the JSON attachment, the country field has a mixture of spelling, case, punctuation, and such. For example, United States of America is represented in almost a dozen different ways. Capital USA, uppercase U, lowercase s, uppercase A, United States, etc. 
The end result will be a new field containing a single value for each country. The normalized metadata processes step greatly enhances the effectiveness of the analysts using IDLE's find application by making the metadata consistent and thus user friendly. In lieu of having humans read all the data, applying deeper subject matter expertise, and manually tagging the documents, IDLE deduction is leveraged instead. For the CORD19 dataset, the medical diseases, conditions, and drugs grammars are configured to read the document including the title, abstract, and body text, and automatically tag the document. In addition to the medical diseases, conditions, and drugs grammars, Idle Deduction has many hundred small pre-built grammars for various topics such as personally identifiable information, or PII, protected health information, or PHI, payment card industry rules, PCI, protected security information, PSI, such as cloud application keys, and more. The last step in the data flow, the flow files are sent off to be indexed into the idle database and then used by find. Here's an index document with a few of the fields generated by the normalized data and induction steps of the NIFI data flow. Notice the normalized author and location fields and the induction derived diseases, conditions, and drug values. Now let's look at idle find to see what all this processing has produced. The topic map is generated by idle's machine learning and AI based engine. Let's query for the concept influenza and documents published through October 31st, 2019. Here's the idle deduction producing the diseases and conditions and drugs values. And here's the normalized authors and country field values. The sunburst trend and table views expose the derived metadata fields as visualizations. Let's look at the sunburst visualization. Select diseases, conditions. A pie chart is generated based on the current query criteria. You can see a more complete demonstration of find and the CORD19 dataset using the link in this video description. That's it for today's look at Microfocus Idle. Thank you for your time and look for more videos on other interesting topics.